Welcome everyone to Kyoster's Log. It is four months, four months post op, folks. I cannot believe it. It's so surreal to think that it's been four months, four whole months since I had my surgery, my gastric sleeve surgery in Galway. Um, I had a couple of uh, appointments recently. I talked about one in my last update, my three month vlog, but I'll talk about the other in a wee while. Also, on this update, I'm going to talk about my milestones. A big, big milestone just hit there just last week, and I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, also, we're going to talk about um, another part of the the journey that has been big as well, and that is we're going to talk about the different points. But we're going to talk. I'm going to talk about delve a bit more into what I went through when I was at my biggest and stuff, and uh, just to show everyone that you know there is a lot to it, and it's it's not easy for anyone that's big. So go easy on any uh, big people out there. I'm still big. And I'm getting there. I'm just over halfway there now to my goal. Very exciting stuff. Um, you know, it really is it's surreal because when I think about it now, you know, my high weight, I'm going to go ahead and talk about what the weight was and how I'm getting on and stuff. At my high weight around last December time, I was 32 stone 5, which is massive. You know, it's, it's a shame it went to that, but that's just the way it, for people, as my surgeon explained to me there the last time I seen him, um, for people that are obese and that are very susceptible to putting on weight, of course, and it, it um, it's like a disease, and uh, if you let it get out of hand, it can get on top of you, and that's what happened with me. Uh, and uh, he said that now, after the surgery, actually, it was a great thing, my metabolism will be just like a everyday person, normal person, and that's why it'll be so much easier then. You know, he says, so hopefully he's right. I'm sure he is that it's so much easier to maintain then once I get to the goal. So my high weight was 32 stone 5. My surgery weight on March 30th was 28 stone 7. And my current weight is 23 stone 5. So I have reached that milestone. I've lost nine stone since my pre-op, since my high weight, and I'm so excited about that. Feels really good, folks. Really, really happy about that, and um, big progress uh, now as on my fourth month. Also on this uh, edition of the Kyoster's Vlog, on the four-month post-op, I'm going to bring you a Q&A. A couple of months ago, I put out an idea to all my YouTube followers and to my Facebook friends and all my online people that I'd be interested in doing a Q&A because I've been through a lot and so far and I see a lot of the other uh, vloggers online doing Q&As and stuff and I feel that I have a lot of knowledge now at this point and I'm doing okay so I might as well do one as well. So I got a few questions and didn't get a lot of questions but I'm, I think I got about eight questions and I'm going to address them questions as this show goes on folks so that'll be a bit of fun as well I'll enjoy doing that I'm not going to name any names of the people that sent me the questions but it was mainly youtubers that sent me questions and a um, few people on Facebook for my Q&A so thanks very much to anyone that sent me questions because it's nice to see the people showing an interest and giving me support you know I couldn't do it without any of, any of my people over there it's been so good folks thank you and uh, Things are going good, thankfully. Um, I want to talk about uh, something that's not been great. You know, it's been probably to a lot of you, you probably think it's me not, the progress isn't as good when it, this happens, but I have to look out for myself, I have to look out for my health. And uh, basically the last, the last time I met the surgeon, uh, we had a conversation about this. The story is, I had started with personal a personal trainer in the gym, and it was going very well. But then I started getting very sore around where the surgery site was and stuff, and I really didn't. Um, I said to the surgeon, and he says, you know, maybe you should hang back from the gym a bit and just go out walking, and that'll do the same job. And uh, my initial uh, reasoning for going to the gym uh, wasn't to, obviously, transition to bodybuilding or anything. It was to help the weight loss and to 
avoid the loose skin. So he said the walking will do a lot of the same work and a few exercises and that. So that's what I've been doing this last two or three weeks there. I've been hanging back, not going to the gym, but I have been walking and I've been doing a few exercises and that. So that's a, you know, an alternative to that. And hopefully eventually when I, I get beyond the six months maybe or something, I'll go back to the gym and start doing some gymming again. But I really enjoyed it, really felt it benefited me while I'd done it. But unfortunately, it was making me very sore and uncomfortable. So I prefer to not, you know, the surgeon did say you have to avoid leaks. The leaks can happen and that would be, that could cause infection, which could lead to bad things as would, um, you know, rupture or something. So you don't want anything like that to happen. So obviously I've decided to, go for the walking instead just uh, which is sensible I think more than anything um, also I want to uh, have a little talk a bit about my goal weight I've said that I'm 23 stone 5 at the minute still very heavy but um, very very light compared to what I was I was 9 stone heavier in January December time so it's uh, or December January so it's a big come down from there I'm really doing good that way Thank God, and uh, it's a big, big, big progress. Um, so my goal weight, as I said, I want to talk a bit about that. I would like to think, when will I get there? Um, I like to think maybe December, Christmas time, I might get to my goal weight. Be a nice Christmas present. <laughs> I'd like to think, if I got down to between 15 and 16, and I was able to hold it between... 15, 16, 16 and a half, around that width, uh, or around between 100, 110 and 124 pound, around that, if you're in another part of the world, you don't go by stones, that's what the region is I want to be at my goal, and also, the, or sorry, 200, yeah, 224 pounds, between 210 and 224, also the, the idea of getting to the, the goal by Christmas around, December, January time would be ideal, and then try and hold it between them weights. At the moment, my weight in pounds is about, it's 23 stone 5, so it's about, um, I think it's about 3, 337, 340, around that at the minute. So it's not, you know, I have a long way to go, but it's, it's, it's going good that way. Um... I want to talk a bit about the initial process, uh, the pre-op and stuff, going back a bit here now. I was in hospital every six months. I was, I was always been affected by chest infections. They were getting to me very quick because of my situation. I had sleep apnea. I still have that. I was on oxygen and everything. Still can't get off that, which is unfortunate because it's causing a few holdbacks in my life. But they said that mightn't subside for a while, so I have to be patient about that. But... Um, Otherwise, uh, I'm very happy, but uh, the thing about, you know, the initial process had a lot of, had to get a lot of injection, or sorry, a lot of blood taken from the arteries, and that was the most, that is the most painful, the most horrible thing in the world. I have had that done over the last four or five years a lot, and it's it's not pretty, folks, it's, it's horrible. Um, I always look at things positively, even when I was at my biggest, always try and keep the positive side out, because that is key. I was just talking about a cancer, I was just talking to a cancer survivor the other day, and he was saying, like, positivity was the key to his success as far as defeating cancer, getting over it, kicking its ass, you know, that was amazing, you know, big ups to anyone who has that mind frame, because that is vital, folks, that is vital. I believe in anything, beating anything in life. That, my friends, is top notch. Um, also, the I'll not delve too much into the initial thing, but it was a tough process. You know, a lot of the time you had to keep the fair side out in life. You had to be positive when you felt like being negative, and you felt like the world was against you. Everything was crap. You know, you had to really push yourself to be positive believe in the future and really since I was told I was getting this surgery I have been fairly positive because I knew it was coming and look at me now you know what I mean I'm doing good and you know I'll never look back now this is the future of the coaster right here <laughs> um, also I'd like to talk a bit now about 
the metabolic differences. My surgeon told me that now, since you've, I was worried, I was saying to him about, um, what about maintenance? Is maintenance very hard? What way does it work? And he told me that um, not to worry about that because the maintenance is going to be a lot easier now because if you stay with the right lifestyle, if you stay with eating the right stuff, all that kind of thing, your metabolism will be like a normal person now because the surgery reworks the system. You know, it changes the whole stomach and the X and Y axes in the body and it changes everything. So the metabolism will be more or less normal now, like a normal person. So that is a beautiful thing to hear right there. And it eases any worries that I have as well because I know things are going to be positive for me now. Please God, touch wood and all that, you know. <laughs> Also, um, keys to success. I believe, I just wanted to touch a wee bit on my, I think, what I think is the keys to success. I know I got surgery, I got a lot of help, but it's changed my whole mind frame, changed the way I look at things, really has changed the way that I look at food, the way that I grab food, the way that I go out and exercise instead of sitting about the house all the time. I always make sure every day I do something and I like to get out and about, going away places, doing stuff i never done in my life because, well, i never done in my worst times because I believe in myself now. And I think one of the key components of success in post-bariatric surgery or post-weight loss is positivity. Positivity is the key. Even taking the positives from negatives, everyone, this is vital in bringing your life to the best possible state. Bring your mind frame. Making sure you get in the protein first, as I mentioned before in other videos, vital, absolutely vital. Music, you know music, you mightn't expect music to be on this list of things to key components or the keys to success, but it is, in my opinion, for me personally, I'm a big music fan, do my radio shows, delighted to be back on live radio, but that's a whole different ball game. Celtic Radio, everyone, tune in. <laughs> um, but music is the key. Motivational tunes, if you're playing them, if you want to do a bit of exercise, it really gets you motivated, get you in the right mindset. Yeah. And really cool. Music is, it's the medication for all emotions. I believe that. And that's a big, big thing, dudes. Belief in yourself. And you, everyone that knows me out there and social media world and YouTube know that I have a belief in myself and even when I was at my biggest I've always believed in myself because I believe that is a key component to life in general folks believing in yourself I know I, I'm a big fan of the fictional character Hulk Hogan I know he's not been the best of big deals lately a lot of people don't like him because of his racial slurs and stuff recently but his character on the WWF back in the day his four demands were say your prayers, take your vitamins, believe in yourself. And I think the other one was never give up or something, but it is vital. Believing in yourself, I believe, and I've stood by that idea ever since I was growing up watching Hulk Hogan. I've, you know, been a wrestling fan and being a Hulk Hogan fan really has helped me as a person over the years. And I've really... Work, brought it into my own character for all the stuff that I do and brought it into my everyday life because my own my character you see on YouTube and you see on Facebook and that's it's not a bullshit character it's it's me but it's a very positive kind of outlook and that's a lot of people don't have a positive outlook, outlook a lot of people don't like to be they like to be pessimistic and stuff but that's not my style but anyway another key component to success I believe is the support from all the people around you, and I mean my family, great support all, all through this process. It's been great, I mean the best. I'm talking about the people, my best friends, on you know, my best friends in everyday life, local, my local friends, and that brilliant, you know, great support from them. And for all of you, Facebook friends and YouTube friends. All of you, great support. As I've said before many, many times, couldn't do it without you folks. The support from the people around you is vital. You hear of a lot of, after bariatric surgery, you hear of a lot of marriage breakups because people start 
fancying themselves as something you can get better and stuff like that. I'm not in a relationship at the moment, so that doesn't affect me, but it's sad to think that these things can happen when you get this because of people getting cocky and stuff. That's something I'm going to touch on later because that's something I'm totally against. But anyway, um, you do hear a lot of things that happen when people get the weight loss surgery and they start getting more confident and stuff. And it's sad. It is sad. Enjoying life. Enjoying life is the key to anything. I have been enjoying my life so much since I've got this surgery and I've been Every week comes new happiness, new things to do, adventures, going to a few places, meeting up with people, and I'll touch on a bit later on about the way people look at you. Actually, my outlook on people in life and my attitude to them, my attitude towards life, my attitude to everything is totally different. You know, I used to say that um, I would be... I wouldn't sell my soul and I wouldn't let, you know, people all, all of a sudden be nice to me and saying, oh, you're doing great and stuff after um, them being, you know, not so nice, being a bit hostile with me over the last while or whatever. I used to say, I'm not going to, they can F off. I'm not going to um, accommodate them and be nice to them back if they're going to be all of a sudden putting it on that they're lovely to me all of a sudden. But I looked at it more then and Maybe you could call it a wee bit sell my soul, but I haven't really, I don't think it's that way. I think you have to be more positive about it, and you have to just go with people being nice to you. You have to go with getting more, you know, great. I'm in a great place in my life now, and that reflects on people. I was sitting in a bar one day, one day I was waiting to get a bus, and I was sitting in a bar, and a good friend of mine came into the bar, and she says, Wow, there's a massive, amazing glow off you. And she never didn't knew, know anything about me having gotten my surgery at the time. This was about a month after my surgery and I was sitting in and having a drink because I do have the odd drinks now. I'm happy to say I'm able to enjoy things like that in life. You have to enjoy life. Still get a good weight loss because I'm doing everything right. Have the odd wee treat drink now. But anyway, that's beside the point. This girl came in, met her first time in a few months and probably a year actually, and she says, wow, there's an amazing glow off you, Kieran, you've, you've changed, you know, it's a, it's, you're such a great, you know, aura off you or something, and, and I was like, whoa, what's this about? <laughs> I thought that was a bit, you know, a strange thing to come out with, but, you know, she was right because people do, I've noticed with people in the past, you know, if they're in a good place in life, if everything's going well for them, there is a good glow and aura off them, so that's a nice thing. So that was a nice thing to say to me. Um, also, uh, so I have to take the positives from all that, and it's not selling my soul. It's just saying, all right, then I'm going to go with this. People are nicer to me. Everything's going good. Why not go with it? What the hell? No point in being, you know, the devil's advocate about it all, you know. Also, um, a big thing. Being prepared to hit stalls. Stalls are a big thing in this bariatric surgery world, everyone. Um, I could now, I've been losing weight every week since I got it done, since I was at my high weight. I've been losing weight um, over the last five, six months. Uh, the last four months since I got the surgery, every every week I have at least three pound off, which is amazing. Uh, just this last week there, I lost four pound. Um... I've hit that 23 stone 5, which is a beautiful weight to be at at the moment for me because I feel so gifted. I feel so, it's such a great opportunity for me and for the rest of my life it's going to be, I'm determined to make it a good one. Um, so hitting that stall will be, will be a tough thing to, you know, withstand because stalls are... They, they can last four to six weeks, maybe two months for some people. In that first year, if you had a stall, maybe, for example, if I'm six months, seven months post-op, and I had a six-week stall, it's going to be tough. You know, it's going to be really tough to, you know, understand it and withstand it. But I've read up a lot on it, and I'm prepared for that. And uh, hopefully I'll be well down by the time I do have a stall. So I'd like to think I'd be at least down to 21 stone by the time I had a stall. So that would be nice. Um... Just uh, got a list of things here I want to talk about. You could never do it without having some kind of a list. Uh, yeah, I mentioned earlier 
my dislike for people who change, you know, in the bad way with surgery. A lot of people, as I said about marriage breakups, relationship breakups and stuff, because of them all of a sudden looking more better and so-called in a different league now from their partners and stuff. I think that is a horrible way to be. I've made sure that I will I'll never change no matter what I look like. I'm very determined that I would never let myself let myself sell my soul. This is more about selling my soul. You know, it, it's bad that, you know, I really believe that. We're in a world today, we're in a society today that doesn't care a lot. The young people don't really give a damn, generally, about whether they... No, they're just going... People are out to suit themselves, and I think it's a sad, that kind of thing anyway. But I would never let myself change with weight loss. I believe that anyone... I'm not in a relationship, as I said, but I'd like to think down the line I will be, and I maybe be in a common thing for me basically you no know, most of the time but it's nice now that I'm seeing more interest in them in that department shall we say <laughs> so that's a good thing that's very positive uh, but I do believe that it's very important to keep grounded be very very true to yourself and don't let any bullshit get in your way don't let people or don't let yourself become asshole because that is just not my style I don't believe in that at all